Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the part uh, 7 of this uh, React Native tutorial where we build a podcast application. In this video, it's gonna be um, a pretty simple one. Uh, we just need to set up the track player. Uh, so this is the audio module we're gonna use for our podcast, so to be able to listen to podcasts. The reason why I want to use this one is you have a lot of stuff plus it's lightweight so example you can uh, you have the audio playback and stuff like that but also you can control um you can control also the podcast from the uh, uh, external and stuff like that what i mean by that it's uh, be able to do some stuff like that so where you are able to uh, play and post from the home screen of the ios and you can do the same for android plus uh, also they put some stuff about um casting it's not working yet on an iOS, but it's working on Android, so you can play that with uh, Chromecast. And also, they have some caching in Android. I think they're gonna add that in iOS, maybe not, but I mean, it's uh, this is the thing in React Native, we don't have everything. So, first thing, we need to install this one. So, the way that work is uh, you go to installation right there. So, you need to install two packages. The first one, so, create a new terminal. Uh, the first one is the package himself, so React Native uh, track player. But the second one, it's gonna be uh, the Swift, uh, React Native Swift, so because the library use Swift. So if you use that in iOS, you need to have this package, so you're gonna be able to bridge the uh, track player uh, with React Native, because by default it's Objective-C. And now you install everything. And like we always know, when you install a library, you do npx pod install. But in this case, here we're gonna get one issue. And you get like Cocoa Pod could not find compatible version version for Pod React Native Track Player. So the, the reason why you got that is because the track player need to work on iOS 10 and plus. So by default, the platform iOS in pod file, iOS pod file file, it's nine. If you change it for 10 and you rerun the same command, everything should work. And now you see, now it's uh, going to the installation. When this one is done, after that, remember you need to kind of recompile your React Native project. This thing can take a while, so in this meantime, we can check how this, uh, how this library work. So the way that's gonna work, first thing it's important to do is to initialize our player. So one of the best place to kind of put this thing, it's kind of like at the beginning of your, uh, of your uh, project. So in our case, that's gonna be in the uh, app.tsx. Uh, and everything looks is okay, perfect. So we're gonna take the React Native track player. We're gonna jump to add that TSX, and I'm gonna import this library here at the top. At the moment I import, you see I don't have any kind of issue and stuff like that. That means the track player was uh, linking. After that, what I want to do is I'm gonna put inside my React that use effect. Where I'm gonna so think about it like a component in mount because this thing is gonna only happen once. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create an async function right there, who's gonna be self calling, where I can have this await here in front of the setup player. And now right there, what I want to do is console.log player is setup. So now if I open my terminal, you see I got player is set up right there. But now you get, uh, okay, yeah. I don't know why you got this kind of error. It looks like they have some issue in their library where they have a required circle, but the thing about that, it's, it's just a warning, you're good to go. After that, uh, we need to create a track, okay? You need to create a track to be able to pass that um, to the track player. So for that, for now, because uh, in this episode it's just about like we want the player to be able to play. After that, we're gonna manage it like it's a much much better way. We're gonna just use finally. I just find like full stack radio. I take his feed URL. I take the feed URL here. I just fetch the title and link URL. That's it. So what I mean by that, it's because what we need for a track 
it's some stuff like ID. You need to put a unique ID, you need to be a string. So I'm gonna put one for now. You need to put a URL. You need to put a title. For the title, it's gonna be what I just copy. For the URL, it's gonna be this thing right there. And I think I have, yeah, I have this thing. After that, uh, what you need also is the artist. So for the artist, for now, I'm gonna just type uh, full stack radio. After that, you go right there and you can say track player add. And now here, this thing take an array of tracks because finally add, it's like you push the track to the queue. So you can put many or just one. For now, that's gonna be one. And this thing, return a promises. So I'm gonna say await. And now if I save that, now I'm gonna get this error, like sending playback state with no listener, just uh, sending playback track change with no listener. Finally, what you can do is you can create, um, uh, it, it's because they search a way to send you the event. Yeah, event. So you see like you can have this uh, register playback services where you gonna add all the function and all the event. Uh, so we're gonna do this. I don't think it's the best way to do this for now, but it's just because uh, in my plan is to use their hook because yeah, they have a hook, so. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna just copy here their service.js. And I'm gonna create a new folder in my SRC called services. And in this one, I'm gonna have track player services. That TS. And I'm gonna export that, but in our case, I'm gonna export default function track player services like that. For the track player, I'm going to import this thing. I'm going to say import track player from React Native track player. Okay, so now here I have my uh, services. So now here I can came here and say track player that register playback services. This thing needs to be a function where that's gonna take our track player services like that. And now, you still have some of the listener who is not create. So you see right now we have remote play and stuff like that. So we need two other one we don't have yet. So the first one here is gonna be the playback track change. Like that. And the other one's gonna be the player state. So for now, the player state, we're gonna just put the state here in the listener, and I'm gonna console log playback state, and I'm gonna console log the state right there. So we can, we're gonna be able to see the state. So you see playback state, state is ready. Now, that's one of the things I don't understand about this library right now. It's, I don't know why we still keep this warning when we do have a listener register for that. So this is something I'm gonna need to find out. Uh, looks like like the, that was not happen in the old version. I don't know what I'm missing right now. But yeah, it's, um, it's uh, the issue right now we have, but don't worry, it's just a warning. After that, if I want to play this player, I can call track player that play. But one thing I want to do is I'm going to put a set timeout, okay? Because I don't want this episode to play like forever. And the thing is, if you refresh your your, your uh, device and it was playing, it's going to play again and again and again. So you're going to have like maybe three, four podcasts playing on top of each other. So for now, what I can do is say just track player that stop. Don't worry, that's going to look much more better in the future. So now if I save, Make sure you have your volume set something, like I'm gonna put some volume, so the sound's gonna be maybe a bit hard, but if I refresh, if I save, you see, for two seconds, we have the uh, track. And if you look here, we have like a playback state, the state was really buffering, so it was buffering the URL, 
playing pose idle so idle mean like it's just keeping there and doing nothing so yeah so that's it for this episode as you can see it was a really really simple one that was like i told you i want to set up those uh, library like in a small episode because i don't want the, um, if example a library need to be changed on in the future i can just redo this video and not doing the full process so in the next video what we want to do what we want to do it's when you search for a podcast and you look for uh, this one example and you click on the uh, Cognon Noir right there. That's gonna be the one who's gonna be played. And we're gonna set up that. And after that, the plan also is to put uh, like a, um, a mini player here on top of the tab bar where we're gonna be able to post play. And after that, the plan also is to create a full player screen where we're gonna have the progress and people is gonna be able to play with the seek and uh, forward and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy. Again, the code is going to be in the description. Uh, the branch, it's part seven. So you can look at that. Um, please subscribe if you didn't and uh, click the like button if that was something useful for you. So I hope you enjoy and we talk in the next one. Bye everyone.